Hey, what's up? Pastor Matt here again. Clearly, we have a theme running today, and that theme is New King James Version of the Bible. And here we are looking at the Cambridge Wide Margin NKJV in black calf split leather. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the box. This is a Cambridge Bible. There it is in the New King James, and it's the black calf split edition. But we'll talk about what a wide margin is uh, and a few features of the Bible on the inside here in just a moment. But let me go ahead and just take a few seconds here to review the outside of this Bible. First thing you're going to want to know is that sometimes these Bibles are called the Eagle. The Cambridge Wide Margin has been uh, called the Eagle. I have to give myself credit for making that up because, well, I did. And the reason that I made up that name for the Wide Margins is that they have such an incredibly wide wingspan, especially when you're preaching with them. These are very wide Bibles indeed. And when you set it down on your desk, you're going to notice uh, just how much bigger this thing is. It takes up more of your desk than another Bible might. Uh, just for the sake of interest here, let's go ahead and remark that it is about nine and a half inches tall, which is fairly standard for a large size Bible. But the difference is it comes in at about seven and a half inches wide, and that's closed, friends. That is a, a large, large Bible. Um, let's talk about the calf split for a moment. The texture is very beautiful on this, as you can undoubtedly see in the video. But this is one of the thicker leathers that Cambridge has. And if you're used to their goat skin, which is quite flexible because they're edge lined, or if you're used to their, uh, their calf skin, the calf split will feel like it is a step down in quality. And there's a reason for that. It's a step down in quality. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> In fact, this is a, um, is a paste down binding, which accounts for the fact that this leather feels pretty stiff. So you've got kind of a stiff leather in conjunction with a paste down binding, and the result is not going to be uh, that floppy, normal eagle feel in your hand that you probably see if you watch any of my preaching videos uh, using the Cambridge Wide Margin and Goat Skin. A lot more flop to the goat skin. That is for sure. This is going to be feel more like a belt leather to you, or maybe something a satchel or a bag might be made out of, something tougher, thicker. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't take me the wrong way. What I am concerned for, and I'm just going to be honest, is because this is a paste down, and because this Bible is of sub substantial girth, weight, and thickness, I do have some concern that eventually this paste down is going to come apart right here. The reason I suspect that is because I've seen that happen even in Cambridge books before. I have um, the Book of Common Prayer in a Morocco leather that's coming apart right there, right at, that, right at that seam right there. And it's only a year old. I'm thinking about turning it in because a Cambridge usually comes with these uh, quality guarantees. So we'll deal with that when I do the crash test for the Book of Common Prayer. So I do have some reason to suspect that this might be a problem long term, especially if you use the wide margin for what it's made for. And that, of course, is taking copious notes in your Bible. So with that, let's go ahead and open up the wide margin and have a look on the inside. What you get with a wide margin is, as the name suggests, very wide margins for the taking of notes. Um, let's just flip to a nice page here in Matthew and throw down our ruler, and we're going to notice that it's more than an inch and a quarter, uh, probably, an, probably an inch and a third wide in terms of your far margin. You also get some pretty decent margins at the top, about three quarters of an inch, at the bottom, a little over an inch. And then one thing I sort of struggle with is that the inner margins are never quite as wide as the outer margins. And for me, that's something that um, Cambridge should probably think about at some point. Because after all, what's to say that this outer column has more important things to say than the inner columns? Of course, you're going to want to take notes here in these margins. And that's a problem for me as a wide margin user. If you would like to have a video to show you how to use a wide margin, I've got uh, one that I think is pretty good. If you click down on my page 
look through it. I have some suggestions on how to exactly to use a wide margin. So I won't talk about that too much here. What I will notice is uh, a couple of the features of this particular Bible that we have in hand. Namely, one, that it is a red letter edition. So if that's a problem for you, um, you might want to look elsewhere. But I do like the way that it puts quotations from the Old Testament in italics. I think that's a nice, a nice feature. Of course, these Bibles make very excellent study Bibles, not only because you will record your own life's worth of study notes from sermons, commentaries, or other research materials, but also because the center column references are so excellent in these wide margins done by Cambridge. And I will also note that one difference between this and the ESV, if you have uh, the one that I use, is that the concordance in the New King James is substantially larger. And I think even by something like 100 pages or so, maybe 75 pages, this is a much larger concordance. And so this New King James is going to be an excellent research Bible for you. So there you go. Now, do I have some concerns about the overall strength of this Bible? Yes, I do with the paste down liner. Um, I don't know what this is going to do long term. I think it's going to hold up for you, but I can't promise. And for that very reason, if you're a new King James guy, you might want to go ahead and upgrade to the goatskin edition. Now, unfortunately, that's where you're going to get a little bit of a sticker shock, because if you get the Cambridge goat skins and their wide margins, we're talking 200 bucks. Okay, sorry to have to say that, but it's true. This particular Bible in the calf skin, calf split, I should say, uh, cost me only $55. But that's because I got it on the once a year Cambridge deal, which they had just a couple of weeks ago. So I don't think you're going to be able to get this Bible for $55 anymore. You probably can get this Bible for just a little over $100, which is still very expensive. But, and here's why I, I argue the case for wide margins all the time. If you get a wide margin, the idea is that you're going to use it for the rest of your life. That you're going to keep all the notes, sermon topics, concepts, references, illustrations, personal anecdotes, prayer requests. You're going to get that in your wide margin and keep it for a very long time. Okay, so if you're interested in this particular Bible, this exact one, I will post a link to the Amazon uh, website right here in the description of this video, as I always do. That way you can hop right over to Amazon and buy this exact Bible. Okay, well, thanks for listening to this review, and feel free to check out all the other ones on my Bibles and Books playlist. Love you lots, and we'll see you soon.